you doing? Hi, hi, Dewey. Um, you scared me to death. You should, sorry. You need to like announce yourself before you come like, in. Like, da, 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 da. okay, maybe, maybe not going yeah, like yeah. that. No, maybe just like hi, Miss Jill, before you get like right way. Okay, close let's to practice me. that. Okay, let's practice that. Hey, Miss Jill. That's so much better. Okay, I'll That's try. That's awesome. It. Okay, ne just for next time, okay. you know. Hey, I'm really, really thirsty. You are. And I noticed you have a big drink sitting there. I do And indeed. it looks like there's still a bunch in it. Can I have a drink? Do you like Diet Pepsi? I love anything. Well, maybe not anything, but I do love soda. Okay. And I don't get it very much because my mom said it's got caffeine. It does And have I don't caffeine. need any extra help being hyper. <laughs> I can totally understand why she says drink? that. But yeah, you can. I mean, it's only it's only 3.30. Don't tell her. I won't. I'm not going to lie for you, Dewey. I mean, hey, okay, that's enough. Like, hey, listen. I don't get it very often. I know, but it's still, that's mine. You want to be respectful of other people's that generosity. It tasted so good. It does taste pretty good. Actually. It burned all the way down. <laughs> it's a good burn, though. Yeah. Okay. So, go ahead. You're real thirsty, huh? Yeah. That reminds me of this week's Bible story. What's it about? Being um, thirsty. Kind of. It's about the woman at the well. I've never heard that one. What? Nope. How long have you gone to church here? Uh. Long time, right? I think ever since I was created. I mean, probably. And I know that you've heard this story before. You maybe just can't remember the story, but I know you've heard it before. I know we've talked about it, I'm sure. Well, let's, let's hear it. Okay. So, I'm, I mean, I'm just reading it. I'm reading it in a message. I like time. that. Yeah. It's my fave. It's easy to understand. It is easy to understand. Where's so, it found? It's in John chapter 4. John's, John's in the New Testament. John is in the New Testament. John's one of the Gospels. Actually. Can I sing the New Testament song? Sure. Knock yourself out. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts, Romans, 1 to Corinthians. Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 and 2. Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 3 John, Jude, and Revelation. Excellent. I learned that way long time ago. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's an, I know excellent, it all. it's an excellent thing to know. I think everybody should learn it. I think so, too. Maybe you can teach the kids one yeah. week. That'd be awesome. I will. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. John chapter four. It just starts in verse one. It says, Jesus realized that the Pharisees were keeping count of the baptism that he and John, John the Baptist, performed, although his disciples, not Jesus, were actually doing the baptizing. What? Wait. Jesus what? didn't baptize people? Um, no. Jesus' disciples baptized people. You know. That's kind of like he how stuff to do. Pastor Mike sometimes does the baptisms exactly. and Master Ronnie stays all dry and cozy in the church. <laughs> exactly. And then Master Mike always gets wet. He does. But I like how Pastor Mike baptizes. I want him to baptize too. me. What? Because it's quick and painless. <laughs> quick it's and just painless. over real quick. Like It's just done. <laughs> Do we? Dewey. Like, he gets it done. I don't know if it's quite that quick, but it's you're quick. right. It is pretty fast. I'm going to ask him if he'll baptize me. You should. Think he will? Yeah. Maybe he'll let us film it. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so the Pharisees were keeping count, and it says they had posted the score that Jesus was ahead, turning him and John into rivals in the eyes of the people. But he should have done that. They're cousins. Jesus and John are cousins. Yeah. They're not going to get mad at each other. Sometimes family is the worst to get mad at each other. Well, I bet they didn't. And they I did. bet they didn't care who baptized who. They didn't at all. And actually, I mean, it, it kind of alludes to that one. It says that the Pharisees were the ones keeping count, not Jesus and not John. The Pharisees were creeps. They were. They were some jerks, for sure. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, they posted the score. You know, they just were trying to get some drama. I don't like drama. I don't either. But sometimes the puppets try to create drama in the puppet closet. Sometimes the people try to create and I drama. Just, I just hang there. <laughs> you just hang there. <laughs> well, I'm super proud of you for not getting involved in the drama. That's probably why I'm so thirsty because my mouth's open all the time. <laughs> probably. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So it says, so Jesus left the Judean countryside and went back to Galilee. 
So, like, Jesus wasn't having it. Jesus said, no. Nope. He's not about the drama. I'm out. And he, you know, took off. It doesn't really say that. It just says that he left for the Judean countryside. Or, yeah, he left for the Judean countryside and went to Galilee. It didn't say that. But I think that's probably how he was. That's That's like. That's the Jill version. (laughs) That's the Jill version. But the Jill version sometimes is fun. Anyway. So, it says, to get there, to get to Galilee, he had to pass through Samaria. He came into Sychar. I think that's how you say that. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll go with that. It says, a Samaritan village that bordered the field Jacob had given his son Joseph. Jacob's well was still there. Jesus, worn out by the trip, sat down at the well. It was noon. I bet he was tired. He's probably hot and tired. Probably. And it was noon. It, it was, was hot. It was noon. It was hot. The sun was high. He's probably sweaty and he needed a drink. He worn completely out. Probably. It says a woman, a Samaritan, came to draw water. Jesus said, would you give me a drink of water? His disciples had gone to the village to buy food for lunch. The Samaritan woman, taken aback, asked how... <laughs> I was taken aback. <laughs> taken aback. How come you? How come you? A Jew. A Jew are asking me. Are asking me. A Samaritan, a Samaritan woman, woman for a drink. For a drink, because you know what? What? Samaritan woman. Samaritan people were not liked. They were not liked, especially by the Jews. The Jews and the Samaritans hated each other. Yeah. So she was shocked. Yeah, she couldn't believe it. And you know what I just thought of? What? She was there at noon. She was. Most there at people noon. drew water in the morning time. They do, normally. Because so, it's yeah. cooler, it's not it's as cooler. hot. Mm-hmm. So she was there probably by herself. Yeah. Yep. Um, it says Jews in those days wouldn't be caught dead talking to someone. Wouldn't be caught dead. Nah. If, if I was dead, I wouldn't talk to you. Well, to me? I wouldn't talk to anybody because I'd be dead. <laughs> I guess that's But I, I wouldn't be true. caught dead. Nope. That no. sounds like a southern expression. Well, apparently it's a Middle Eastern expression. Well, it's a message expression. Yeah. I for southern that. people. I guess that's true. Wouldn't be caught dead. Wouldn't be caught dead. Jesus answered, if you knew the generosity of God and who I am, you would be asking me for a drink and I would give you fresh living water. Wait, what does living water mean? Does that mean like bugs were in it? What? What? Like, no. No. Living water bugs. <laughs> no. I don't want that kind of drink. There's no bugs. One time I sucked up a fly. Ew. Oh, hot in my throat. Ew. <coughs> That's awful. One time my uncle was at Whataburger <laughs> what? and he asked for a drink from his little girl. She's around four years old. And he drank all the rest of her drink and there was a soggy piece of hamburger in it because she had spit it out. So that, he drank okay. a soggy that's, hamburger down. That's so gross. It Dewey. was I gross. Can't, I can't even think about it. Soggy hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> Can we, can we just stop? Can we get back to the story? Because that's gross. And he that is not... Suck it down his throat. That is not at all what Jesus was talking about when he was talking about the living water. It had nothing to do with water bugs. It had nothing to do with soggy hamburgers. It was all about, like, the spirit of God. Oh. <laughs> okay. Whew. Not water bugs. bugs. That's... We're just gonna... We're just gonna move right now. Okay. Let's that. move on. <laughs> move it on. Wouldn't be caught dead talking about that. <laughs> Correct. Okay, the woman said, Sir, you don't even have a bucket to draw up with. Where's your bucket? And this well is deep. It's deep so, and wide. <laughs> deep and wide. There's a fountain. That's really didn't match. It doesn't match. It doesn't really match the story. No. That's about a fountain. It just this popped is in my well. head. That's okay, you know, deep. I can see it. Okay, so it says the well is deep. So how are you going to get this living water? How are you going to get a living water to me? I don't, you know, Jesus didn't really talk plain sometimes. Sometimes no. he was talking poetically. <laughs> he was. He was rather eloquent. He was waxing poetic. He was waxing poetic. Which I really don't know what that means, but I heard that phrase and I've been wanting to use it for a long time. <laughs> well, you used it in like just pristine context here. I waxing mean, poetic. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So he said, she, she says, are you a better man than our ancestor Jacob who, who dug this well and drank from it? He and his sons and livestock and passed it down to us. She was kind of being sassy. She was being a little bit sassy. She was probably a little 
skeptical of him. Well, I don't think she really knew who he was. Nope. Otherwise, I don't think she'd be very sassy. No. You don't want to be sassy. No, with don't Jesus. sass God. Mm mm. Bad idea. Um, that's super disrespectful. We want to always respect God. So here we go. So Jesus said, everyone who drinks this water will get thirsty again and again. And anyone who drinks the water I give will never thirst. Not ever. The water I give will be an artisan spring within gushing fountains of endless life. So what does that all mean? Never going to be thirsty again. Never going to be thirsty again because God satisfies us. That's true. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that story. Yep. It also teaches us that we need to be kind and and pleasant to everyone. Yeah, because she was a Samaritan and she yeah. probably wasn't all that nice of a woman. Yeah. The Samaritans weren't known to be nice. Well, yeah, and the story goes on to give us some other information about this woman and she wasn't... But Jesus she didn't wasn't care. He loved her. Exactly. Jesus doesn't care about any of our stuff, any of our junk that we have going on. He loves us all the same. I like that. I do, too. But you know what? What? I'm really thirsty. Can I have one more <laughs> drink? One more drink? Please. Okay. But if you finish it, I'm going to be very upset. I won't. Okay, don't finish it. Uh, Dewey! 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 Stop! Dewey! Dewey! What do I like that sound. It sounds cool. It does sound cool. Don't tell my mom. I drank, um, I drank a lot. Well, I can't lie to your mom. Well, I gotta go pee now. Okay, hopefully you'll be all right. Bye. Bye.